The Air Data Inertial Reference System provides flight data such as position, speed, altitude, and attitude for the flight displays, flight management computers, flight controls, engine controls, and other systems requiring inertial or air data. The major components of the air data inertial reference system are air data modules, the air data inertial reference unit or ADARU, and the secondary attitude air data reference unit or SARU. The ADARU is the primary flight data source, while the SARU acts as an automatic backup to the ADARU. The SARU is the dedicated data source for the standby attitude indicator. First, let's look at the air data part of the system. The air data modules are remote sensors which electronically supply pitot and static pressure information to the flight control's data bus. The air data modules receive and process data from three pitot probes and six static ports, two per module. Two standby modules provide dedicated inputs to the standby airspeed indicator and standby altimeter. The ADARU and SARU receive three independent bus inputs to calculate airspeed, Mach, altitude, and other air data parameters. Both units independently compare the inputs and validate which signals should be used in their calculations and other displays. The ADARU and SARU also receive data from two angle of attack sensors and one total air temperature or TAT probe. TAT is displayed on ICAS. Now let's examine the ADARU in more detail. The ADARU is a single fault tolerant unit which replaces the inertial reference units found on some airplanes or the mechanical gyros and inertial navigation systems on older technology airplanes. The ADARU contains electronic sensors and non-mechanical laser gyroscopes which measure airplane movement in all three axes. Signals from the sensors and gyros are used to calculate the airplane's attitude, heading, ground track, ground speed, and the airplane's latitude and longitude position. Before the ADARU can calculate this information, it must accomplish a pre-flight alignment. Pre-flight alignment is the calculation of the airplane's relationship to true north and is done independently of any navigation aids. During alignment, the sensed gravity force is used to calculate the airplane's attitude and the Earth's rotation force is used to determine the location of true north. The airplane must remain stationary during pre-flight alignment to properly sense earth gravity and rotation. The process takes from 6 to 15 minutes depending on latitude. Delay pushback or taxi until alignment is complete. To maintain navigational accuracy, a complete alignment is recommended if the time between alignments is expected to exceed 24 hours. Alignment begins with the ADARU switch. The ADARU switch is located here on the overhead panel. To realign the ADARU, the switch must be left in the off position for 30 seconds and then pushed on to start a full alignment cycle. Primary electrical power is available. Position the ADARU switch off and back on. Verify that the off light is extinguished. The ICAST memo message ADARU Align Mode displays while the alignment is in progress. 
The only information the Aderu needs from the flight crew is the airplane's present position. You will learn in another lesson how to use the FMS CDU to enter your present position. The crew enters the most accurate present position available. If global positioning system coordinates are available, they are the most accurate. The Aderu compares the enter position with the current GPS position or with the last known Aderu position and the sensed geographical latitude. The FMC also compares the enter position against the coordinates of the active flight plan's origin airport. When the alignment process is complete, the Aderu enters the navigate mode and the Aderu Align Mode memo message is removed. Although the Aderu is very accurate, after entering Navigate Mode, errors accumulate. To compensate for this, the FMC calculates its own position using both Aderu position and other data. To provide navigational backup in case of dual FMC failure, the Aderu contains an identical magnetic variation table. Variation data for all locations between north and south 82 degrees latitude, except for some areas near the magnetic poles, is stored in both systems. The FMC is covered in detail in other lessons. System logic prevents the Aderu from being depowered if the Aderu switch is inadvertently turned off in flight. When the airplane is secured, positioning the Aderu switch off prevents discharging the main battery when AC power is removed. Position the Aderu switch to off. Verify that the switch shutter display is blank and the Aderu off light illuminates. If the Aderu switch is left on when power is removed from the airplane and the battery switch is off, the on battery light illuminates. And the ground crew call horn sounds. Before we discuss an Aderu failure, let's first look at its backup, the Saru. If data from the Aderu becomes invalid, the SARU automatically provides flight critical data to the same systems. The SARU provides speed, altitude, and attitude. The SARU, however, cannot perform inertial navigation functions. The FMC route map will be lost if GPS data is not available. The SARU can only provide a temporary heading reference, which is discussed next in non-normals. The ICAST caution message, NAV Aderu Inertial displays. If the Aderu is not capable of providing inertial navigation, attitude, heading, track, or ground speed data. On the ND, track and position data are provided by the GPS. Heading indications remain displayed for three minutes after the message appears. When the heading indications are removed after three minutes, the set heading line appears on the position initialization page of the CDU. On the PFD, air data and attitude indications are provided by the SARU. Flap maneuvering speeds cannot display. After three minutes, heading indications are removed and most roll and pitch modes are no longer available. To regain the heading displays, the crew must enter a SARU reference heading in the set heading line. Enter a heading of 127 degrees. 
The entered heading remains displayed for only a few seconds. Heading information is restored. The entered heading must be periodically cross-checked against the magnetic compass and updated as necessary. Cancel the ICAST message. The CDU scratchpad message, Enter Inertial Position Displays, if the ADARU has completed its initial alignment process, but no position has been entered. The same message displays if the enter position fails the comparison check against either the GPS position or ADARU sensed latitude. The realignment initiated message displays if the same position which failed the ADARU latitude check is re-entered or an internal problem is sensed during alignment, such as the airplane moving. The inertial origin disagree message displays if the enter position is more than six miles away from the location of the FMC active origin airport. Entering the correct position allows the ADARU to complete its alignment. This completes the instruction portion of the Air Data Inertial Reference System lesson. It has been more than 24 hours since the ADARU was last aligned. Realign the ADARU. How long must the ADARU switch remain off? Complete the alignment procedure. Select the displays that show ADARU information after alignment. You've touched this before. Make another selection. You've touched this before. Make another selection. Seven displays can show ADARU information. Touch the highlighted area.